This video will show you how to use the Mead 114 millimeter telescope. This one happens to have what's called an equatorial mount. This mount has a counterweight down here on this bar. So I have it set now, but you can um, adjust this by sliding that counterweight up and down. What you want to do is get this so that when you loosen this red screw over here, you want your telescope to be balanced. So if this was way up here, it would be balanced because the telescope is tipping that way. So you want to slide this down, still tipping that way. Slide this down, get it where it's in balance. No matter which way you go, it's pretty well balanced. Okay. You can, each side of this has these little red knobs, and I just locked the one on the back side here. On this side, this knob moves it this way. And again, you want it balanced so that when you move it in any direction, it doesn't fall like that way. So it's balanced, it's balanced there. And I have it balanced here in this direction. All you have to do is loosen these and just slide the tube within these two rings until it's balanced. I already have this balanced, so it should be good. Okay, your home position on this telescope is with this lined up with 90 degrees. Get that to 90. It just has to be pretty close. Tighten that down snugly. And then this axis over here, you just want it pretty much in line with the tripod. So you don't want it tilted that way, this way. You want it so that it's pretty well lined up with the tripod leg down here. So make sure that's all locked nice and snug. Okay, with both of those tightened down, that is the home position for this telescope. This has the same battery pack as the other one. So it's got a battery pack, on off switch. Show you how much battery is left with the little lights there. Keep it off and then plug it in. And you'll see on this side over here, it's got a little port for the 12 volt plug in. And again, it has to have an adapter for the right size plug. So your cable has an adapter on the end. Plug that into the power port. It says 12 volt over here. Turn it on. And your telescope comes on. It gives you the sun warning. You hit the speed button down here to get rid of the sun warning. It tells you just a little thing getting started for detailed instructions. See your manual, which you will have. I know the date. So today is the 10th. So we'll change that to 1 0 December 2024 is correct. Hit enter. We'll assume it's 8 o'clock. Daylight saving time is no because we're not in daylight saving times currently. And then you can pick your alignment. We're gonna do a one star alignment. So you wanna hit enter. It tells you to put it in the home position, which again is going to be, this is at 90. The telescope is lined up with the leg here. And then you have the whole thing pointing north. I'm just gonna assume that for now, you're pointing north pretty much at the north star up there. So once you have that all set up, pointed north, you hit enter. Hit the move a little bit. What it's doing now is it's saying center Polaris. And make sure you have the cover off of your telescope. I also forgot to mention to make sure you have your telescope tripod level. You can put a little level down in the bottom down here. You can get it so the tripod is pretty level to start with as well. While it's doing that, your eyepiece goes in the eyepiece holder up top. Always make sure it's snug with both screws because you don't want the telescope to move and it's pointing kind of downward and that falls out. Okay, so this is getting to where it's getting close to Polaris. 
and it tells you to adjust the mount. So without using the hand controller, it'll tell you in here if you read it, adjust the mount, latitude, setting, and azimuth setting so that Polaris is centered. So now what the settings on this to do that are, underneath here, you have a little screw down here, a little knob down here. As you move it, you notice the telescope is coming down. If you turn it in, the telescope's coming up. That's your altitude adjustment. So you kind of be looking for Polaris and make sure you have it pretty well centered using that. And then same way with your azimuth, this knob on the side here just loosens the whole telescope swinging around left, right. So then you can just adjust that to the left, to the right, until you get Polaris pretty straight, and then tighten that down. So I'm trying to get Polaris centered nicely between these two things. Once it's in there, tighten that down. This you don't have to tighten that, just as you used to adjust it up and down. That will stay put. And then you should be good to go for that step. All right, so once you have that done, and you can see Polaris pretty well centered in here, and also make sure it's centered up there, hit enter. It's gonna search for a star and go to the first star. So it's going to Capella. And it'll just make some fine little adjustments and then it'll say center capella so you look through here you try to find hopefully capella is the brightest star in that area move this around to get it centered if it was off quite a bit you can change the speed down here i like to go one pass max and you can just make some other adjustments left and right up and down hit capella center hit enter and it'll say align successful and now you can choose an object to go to, solar system, object, say enter, solar system, uh, we'll go to Jupiter, hit enter, it'll calculate where it's at, you hit the go to button, and it'll go to Jupiter. And the menu on this works pretty much like enter goes forward. So whatever it says on the screen, like object, you hit enter. And then it scroll down and up to see like solar system or stars. Choose what you want, hit enter. If you made a mistake, you want to go back. The mode is kind of like the back button. Go back to the prior screen. Okay, this is finishing up slewing to Jupiter. It beeps and it's all done. Again, if you needed to fine tune that because Jupiter wasn't quite where it's supposed to be, it's off a little bit. Um, I use the mode button to speed it up a little bit. Again, I go to where it says max and I go one past that for not quite max speed. And you can move this around to make any adjustments to get Jupiter in the crosshairs and then double check it's in the center here. Once you've got it all centered, you hit enter. Then you hold on the enter key for few seconds, I mean three, four seconds, let go, and it says enter to sync, and then it's synchronized. So now you've synchronized on Jupiter. You can hear the little chirping from the motor. The motors are now tracking, and it'll keep Jupiter um, in the field of view of the eyepiece for quite a, quite a while, several minutes. If you want to see Jupiter closer up, you can use your Barlow lens, which is a two times Barlow, which magnifies it. You just take out the eyepiece. Put the eyepiece in the Barlow, tighten the screw on the side, put the Barlow all the way into the tube, and then you'll have to adjust focus with that in there, and you can adjust the focus. There also is a little knob up on top of the focuser that just adjusts um, how tight the focus knob is to turn. You could also turn it all the way and lock the focus knob. When you're done, all you have to do is Turn off the telescope using the power button on the 
battery, shuts it down. If for some reason you want to move it to a different place, you can just unrelease these red knobs and you can put it back kind of in the home position for storage if you want. degrees just lined up there and it's all ready to go for the next session when you do need to charge your battery unplug it you plug it into the charger plug it into the wall and always make sure the button is on for charging and then it'll charge the charger will show red I'm not sure if you can see that down there but the charger will show red on the wall when it's done charging, it'll turn green. Hope you enjoy the telescope.